So today we're actually going to uh, look at an auction catalog and then go to the auction house and preview some items. Uh, this particular auction is Asian interest items and I'm actually very interested in the picture that's right on the screen now. The elegant early 1900s hand-painted Muramura Brothers Nippon pedestal punch bowl. Um, this is a piece I would love to have in my collection. It's probably the top piece I'm interested in in this auction. Um, I was looking for some Christmas gifts um, in this auction as well. As you can see, there were tons of Asian items and Heron, which I didn't know much about Heron until uh, looking at this, but apparently it commands quite a price. The prices you are seeing on the screen there are pre-auction prices too. Um, people have already put in some bids on these items before the auction takes place. Um, this is not the price that they actually realized. As we move on down the second page here, um, we're going to keep looking for some of those Nippon items over on the third page. Um, one of the neat things about looking through the catalog, you can see uh, all the different things and, and write down the lot numbers that you might be interested in before you go to the preview. Um, right in the middle of this page, lot 199 was another Nippon uh, pedestal bowl that I thought about uh, looking at when I went to the preview. So I wrote lot 199 down on my list. Also, lots 204 and 207 coming up. Uh, both are Nippon pedestal compote uh, bowls as well. Uh, the pedestal compote bowls are kind of unusual to find, and especially this many in one collection. So it was it kind of piqued my interest uh, and made me want to go over and take a look at the preview uh, at the auction house. Moving on down, let's see what else we can find. There's one last one, lot 212 there. Today we're going to take in an auction preview. This is one that I go to quite frequently. We're going to look at some items that I have chosen uh, to watch in the next auction, and hopefully some of those that I'll be able to win. So we're going to see how this goes. I'm going to take you along with the journey today, and we're going to go look at a couple of pieces that I'm interested in today. I'm actually going to do voiceover on this because the background noise in the auction house was really, really loud. I do apologize too, I didn't have my phone in landscape mode whenever I was videoing and it made it a little difficult to see as well as the glare that was coming in from the uh, sunshine from the front windows, the lights, and then the cases all had mirrors behind as well. But the neat thing about going to preview is that you get to actually uh, look at the pieces, you get to handle the pieces, inspect them to see if they're exactly what you want and that's what I was looking at here there's one of the Nippon pedestal bowls that I had written down um, I didn't actually show this in the video but I did take several of these out of the cases and look at them um, to see the quality and condition and uh, usually the auction is really good about calling uh, all the damage um, that they can find but inevitably they do miss things uh, from time to time and this was a huge uh, Asian antique auction. Um, the items were brought down from Louisville, Kentucky and were actually sold in Lexington. This tea set that's on the screen right now, um, I didn't even notice um, on the preview uh, when I was looking at the catalog. There's the punch bowl that I really, really want. Um, but that's another interesting fact about going to uh, the preview. Sometimes you see things that just don't even catch your eye in a catalog and actually being there and looking at the items it makes a huge difference over just what you see um, on the internet when you're looking at those online catalogs um, these heron pieces and statuary were splendid in this auction and there was some beautiful jewelry as well um, the, some men's ruby uh, and diamond rings that were um, outstanding so moving back down the cases, um, you can see some of these very large Satsuma pieces. Um, just some very beautiful things. But the punch bowl, the barnwood background and grapes, that's my piece right there that I want to take home. 
So let's see how well I did. So just by going in and looking around, I've noticed a few things on my list. I had uh, six items there that I had picked out uh, for this auction. Out of those six, um, two I was looking at for a gift, and uh, of those two, I noticed that one was probably a little better quality than the other one. Um, of the Nippon Punch Bowls, um, three of the four that I looked at in there were in good condition, and I've got them on my want list. But the fourth one that I looked at, the scenic one, had a chip in the base that wasn't called. So that one I'm going to take off my list because I try to look for the best product that I can possibly find, especially if I'm putting it in my collection and maybe selling it in the future. So those are reasons that you come and you take a look at things. Also, you sometimes see things at uh, auction previews that don't catch your eye in the um, uh, catalog itself when you're looking online. So just a few tips and pointers and uh, we'll continue on this video. So I did win the large uh, grape punch bowl in the pond uh, during that auction. Uh, I had a list of about five to seven things that I was really interested in and ended up with just the one. And that's oftentimes the way that it happens at an auction. I've had a list of 20 things and come home with two. I've also had a list of 25 and come home with none before. But um, it's kind of the thrill of the hunt when you go to the auction as well. And um, that bowl was one that I really wanted. So I was really thrilled to get the one piece. So I hope you've enjoyed this video that we've taken on a little tour of an auction preview and maybe we'll have some more of those in the near future. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.